God sent his son and they called him Jesus he came to live heal and forgive he hung bled and died just to buy a, a pardon but that old empty grave, that old empty grave was there to prove my Savior lived. Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. It is um, Sunday morning, and um, yeah, I feel just like that. I've been having, I got the call about this a couple of days ago. Yeah. Uh, my youngest grandson came home crying uh, because one of his classmates at this point said, she committed suicide. Yeah. 12 years old. Beautiful little girl. For one to understand, it was from a challenge. We have a wonderful um, district school district manager here. His name is Mr. Ricky Jackson. He spoke at the services. One thing he pointed out to parents, whether you are mother or father, or grandparent, if your child have a phone. Now guys, listen, I have three grandchildren. Jada is the youngest. She's eight. Jada have a phone. Do I think anything wrong with her having a phone? No, I don't. But do I think her phone should be monitored? Yes. There should be a lot of restrictions on that phone. And my daughter does go through those extremes of putting all kinds of restrictions on that phone. And she also checks that phone, the three of them. So there is eight, 12, and 16. Yeah, him too. All of them. And she goes into the deleted files. You must go through all that. You must take the time and listen to them when they say something is going on. They want to talk. Don't push them off to someone else. She was 12. She was 12. My body aches with emotional pain. So this is to the saints. If you're strong in Christ, I get it. But remember, a lot of times, he won't come after you. But he go come to that weak link to get to you. So it's not about who did what, when they did it. Pay attention to your children and check those phones. I want to put that in the atmosphere. Check those phones. Later, y'all.